Hi guys! Welcome back to Defining Glamour. Or if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Hina and welcome to Defining Glamour. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far today. In today's video, I thought why not go ahead and start off a new video with some Estee Lauder new product launches. Like they launched a couple of new makeup uh, products for specifically for summer, I believe. I was very fortunate enough to grab my hands on the summer palette. Um, this is how it looks like. I'll show you the inside in just a moment. I also have the Bronze Goddess um, highlighting powder as well. And then I also went ahead and grabbed two of their um, lip lacquers as well. I believe these are called the Pure Envy uh, lip lacquers. Yeah, it's the Pure Color Envy. So I got one in a neutral shade. I'll go over this color in just a moment. I also have the um, the more of a coral shade. I think uh, a neutral shade and then I also wanted to grab a nice bright color for summer as well. So I'm going to be doing a first impression on these products. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have nothing on my face right now so this is no makeup at all on my face right now. So if you guys want to see how I go from this look to this bronze look as one with the neutral lip and then one with a bold coral lip uh, then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up also if you're not subscribed and if you guys want to see more of these new makeup product launches first impressions and swatches on my channel don't forget to uh, subscribe so please do consider subscribing on defining glamour and to comment down below and let me know which of these three products was your favorite without further ado we'll go ahead and get started so like I told you guys, I have nothing on my face, so I thought why not go ahead and go through the full glam face makeup with you guys. So I'm going to zoom you in. I think that should be good enough. I don't have the best lights right now because it's extremely cloudy today and it's going to rain, but we're going to work with what we have. So um, I'm going to go ahead and really quickly prime my face first, as always. So I'm going to go in with this new, um, this one right here. This is the Mikasa Body Graphy Professional Cosmetics Hydrating Foundation Primer. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. I have recently got the new Josie Moran's A Good Bro Pencil. I love this pencil so much. It gives you a very natural eyebrows. So I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro filter foundation here. I'm in the shade 240 and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Now I recently did a how to tutorial on how to apply your foundation and your concealer like a pro or it's perfect for beginners. So if you guys want to check out that video after you're done watching this one, definitely do check out the links on the side, the annotations on the side. As far as the concealer goes, I am just going to use what I already see in front of me right now and um, I'm just going to use one of my favorites under eye disguise uh, concealers. This is a full coverage concealer by Palladio. Hands down one of the best affordable um, concealers you can find and this is actually a company, a brand that is sold at Sally Beauty. Next step is going to be of course the powder. So I'm going to set the underneath the eyes and just on my forehead. I need to try some new powders now. I think I'm going to go for like drugstore powders because I really do love the NYX HD setting powder. I've been obsessed with this for the last two years. I'm going to go in with this palette now. This is called the Bronze Goddess Summer Look Palette by Estee Lauder. This is how the case looks like. I was so attracted to this golden packaging, you guys. Um, it's very, very minimal as well, but I love the gold into it. You actually do get like a pink blush and then a highlighter and then you have a couple of eyeshadows here. So they're, um, they're a mixture of like matte as well as shimmers in there. What I'm going to do is uh, first thing first, I'm going to use this matte uh, shade right there, the white one. And I'm just going to set my MAC paint pot first thing first. I think what I'll do is I'm going to apply the third shade on my lids. This color is like a golden bronzy color, so it looks pretty light to me. The color hit off is decent. It's not that amazing for Estee Lauder eyeshadows because it's such an upscale brand. But I think they can definitely work on the pigmentation of their eyeshadows. It needs to be extremely creamy. It needs to be extremely extremely um, pigmented as well uh, what I'm gonna do next is just take this darker shade right there this brown one this is like has a little bit of a shimmer uh, touch to it as well and I'm just gonna take a Sigma small taper brush and I'm just going to define the crease a little bit here this 
So what I'm gonna do is just use a highlight shade that's for the face actually and just use this underneath the brow bone. So what I'm gonna do is just apply my uh, false lashes and I'm just gonna apply my liner and the lower lash line so I'll be right back. I do have my eyes um, done. Well, they're not completely done. I just need to apply a, a color on the lower lash line as well. But I do have my falsies done. I did went ahead and did a wing liner um, and applied my eyeliner as well. I'm going to have all the makeup products listed down below in the description box if you guys are wondering what lashes these are and what kind of eyeliner I applied on my waterline as well. So now we're going to move on. You can do one or the other shade. Either you can go in with the blue one to apply it on your waterline or you can go with the green one. So I'm going to go in with the blue one because I really like the blue. This is how the eyes are turned out. I really like the way they turned out. The color payoff is decent on this palette. It's nothing too amazing. They're not very buttery. They're not soft. Um, they're just very regular um, shades. Finally, I'm going to go in with the... Face Illuminator Highlighter Powder by Estee Lauder. This is in Bronze Goddess. This is how the packaging looks like. So it has the same type of opening. You just tilt this up, has a little mirror, and look at this golden highlighter, you guys. Like, extremely, extremely beautiful. And it smells, it has a little bit of a scent to it. It smells like a floral perfume as well. But look at this packaging. Oh, it's gorgeous. Tip this in. Extremely sparkly, ha oh, it has a little bit of glitters to it. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, see the amount of fallout that it had because it has these little particles, glitters in it. But nevertheless, we're gonna go ahead and still apply this. So I'm gonna apply this on top, top on the top of my cheekbone. There we go. So it has a lot of glitter to it though. And it's gonna have that fallout as well. So I'm just gonna pull my hair up. Bring this here a little bit. Ooh, not a huge fan of this. This highlighter looks gorgeous, but the amount of fallout it has and the glitter. Oh no, the glitter. I wish it did not have the glitter in it. But this is how it is. Highly disappointed with the goddess, bronzy goddess product there. I'm just going to switch back to the face palette, apply the blush as well because I didn't apply this pink blush yet. The blush seems to have really good pigmentation. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's extremely light, but we're going to go ahead and apply the on the apple of our cheeks. Maybe a good idea too is to actually apply the blush first and then apply your um, your highlighter with this. The blush is extremely beautiful. It's giving me that pink summer vibe. It's in pigmentation. It's nothing too crazy. So it has a very natural pinky color to it. The only product that I have left to apply are the two lipsticks. So I'm going to go in with the neutral shade and see how it looks like. This one is in the number called num a number called number 103. It's called Smash Up. It's like a neutral pink color. One of the beautiful neutrals. So it has a wand like this to it. And it smells like pure bubblegum. So it is a beautiful, beautiful neutral color. It has a more like a, a dusty rose. And it's very, very light on the lips. And pigmentation is definitely there it's beautiful so here is the second color this is the um, color number 309 this is in glow coral um, it's more of a bright pink color as opposed to more of a orange undertone as you guys can tell um, it's a beautiful col color to wear as a pop of color for the summer of course and of course with this face palette as well this one seems to be a little bit more sticky. This one does not feel like a liquid lipstick. It feels more like a lip gloss. Okay guys, so this ends this video. So those were the new summer makeup collection that was launched by ST Lauder. I'm gonna go ahead and really do a quick, quick rundown on some of these products. I'm sure you guys have probably guessed which ones I really like. Let's start off with the face palette, the Bronze Goddess summer look palette. This eye look can be actually achieved with some really affordable eyeshadows as well. The color combination is really nice. You have two pop of colors and then you have some bronzy neutral shades. 
This highlighter is pigmented but not extremely pigmented. The blush is really, really pretty. Overall, this palette is not worth the money though because it's so expensive. I just truly believe that there's other options out there. Then I also did try the glitter. You guys know my thoughts about this glitter. This is the Bronze Goddess Glitter. It, it's very, very sparkly. It has glitters and um, it's only been about 30 minutes since I had the highlighter applied. It looks really, really gorgeous but the, the it's kind of fading away already. The pigmentation is, is extremely good on this but the glitter just makes it a disaster. Moving on to the two lip products I really love the Estee Lauder and the uh, neutral shade the smash up shade I really really enjoyed it and I would recommend this neutral dusty rose color to you guys this one the glow coral however is a little sticky color those were my opinions and my first impressions and kind of like swatches of the um, goddess what is this line called? The Bronze Goddess line and the Envy Lipstick by Estee Lauder. If you guys want to see more of these collection videos, do let me know in the comments below. And at the end, please give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it. If you can share the video, that would be amazing. Also, please follow me on my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I do uh, upload frequent updates on those social media accounts of mine. They're with the handle of Defining Glamour. And uh, lastly, if you're still not subscribed, if you guys want to see what and you guys want to see more of these videos, please Please do consider subscribing to Defining Glamour. That would mean a lot to me. And at the end, you guys have a fab day. And I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.